Praise the Lord. Huh? That video itself is, is a testimony of the wonderful things that God is doing in this fellowship, in Healing Wings. And we just want to thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Where will we begin to thank God tonight? Let us thank God for his wisdom, whereby we, we are able to look forward to meeting with him. He has, he has transformed us in healing wings into a praying church. Every night, every morning, we start the day with him with our God, with our Lord. And we're just so grateful, so grateful for this privilege. It has come to a point where in the wisdom of God, he has come to define our day. And when God defines your day, the whole day is in his hands. Indeed, he is the alpha, the omega of the day. So we are here to bless God again and say, Father, Lord, we will continue to just thank you. We will just continue to bless you and to praise you again and again and again for everything for everything. It's got to a point where we raise a prayer in, in, in healing wings and before we have finished praying, God has answered. And it's not localized to, with anybody. Anyone who raises the prayer, any person from healing wings, and God is answering. And then he, he said to us, we are the apple of his eye. Huh? This is just a great distinction. A great distinction. I've always said, if God writes your CV, if God writes, if you apply for a job, and it is God that writes your reference. Who will not give you the job? So we want to bless God again and again and again. Because he's the one that writes our reference. He is the one who commends us in every situation. Because in every situation, he goes before us. In every situation, he comes as our rear guard. In every situation, every question we are asked, he is the one that provides the answer. Every challenge of life, he is the one that meets the challenge for us. And so, Lord God Almighty, why would we not bless you? Why would we not praise you? Who else? Who else would we praise? But you. Who else? We rely on no other person but you. Because you are more than enough. You are sufficient. We don't need anybody else but you. And Father, we declare again and again, that we have you. We have you. You are our portion. You belong to us. You are our Father. You are our Lord. You are our God. You are our help. You are our defense. You are all in all. 
And so again, again, again this morning, we are here to say, I don't even know, we are here to say everything. We are to say thank you. We are here to bless the Lord. We are here to magnify you. We are here to praise you. We are here to, to worship you. We are here to, to, to just say, Lord God Almighty, you are indeed the desire of all nations. You are our desire. You are the love of our lives. You are the one who is beautiful for every situation, every circumstance that confronts us, it is you. You are the person we run to. At all times, we run into your embrace. We are the one, you are the one Lord. who lifts up a standard against every storm, against every crisis. Oh, had it not been, had it not been for you, Father, had it not been for the Lord, we will not stop praising you. We will not stop thanking you. For you confounded every every expectation about Nigeria, about Africa, every expectation concerning this pandemic, Lord, indeed you are the God of the weak. Your glory is the glory of our infirmities. Because you knew, Lord, that we don't have what was required to meet this challenge of these viruses. We didn't have the medical facilities. We didn't have the doctors, the nurses, the hospitals, but we have you. We have you. And so Lord, where has this courage has done so much damage worldwide we're here again still pleading to you to bring an end to it wherever, whenever it remains. Nevertheless, we cannot but acknowledge, Lord, that your mercy endured for us in Nigeria, that your mercy endured for us in Africa. People who are speculating about all kinds of things. Whether it is the food that we eat, whether it is the heat, whether it is the sun, whether it is, it's all rubbish. It's all nonsense. It's all about you. It's all about you. You are a secret weapon. I've always been. I've always been. You've always been a secret, a secret device. And so, Lord, why would we not worship you? Why would we not thank you? Why would we not bless you? Why would we not praise you for what you are doing, for what you keep doing? Lord God Almighty, we answer your invitation. 
We have fire of invitation with, with joy and rejoicing to spend eternity with you, Lord. We answer your invitation, Lord, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. We answer, Lord God Almighty, your invitation to behold the beauty of your holiness. Lord God Almighty, yes. We answer your invitation to that great wedding, to that great supper that you have prepared. We say, Lord God Almighty, none in healing wings shall be left behind. In the name of Jesus, because you, you are a great shepherd and you have told us, you have assured us that even one sheep, you will leave 99 to look for one. None shall be lost. None, none shall be lost. We are the sheep, O oh God, of your pasture. And so, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, oh, how beautiful, how beautiful is that name to us. How wonderful is that name to us. So we thank you for your abundant grace, your abundant mercy. Oh Lord, when we meditate, when we meditate on that which you, that which you accomplished, how can the God who created the heavens and the earth, the God who created the planets, the solar systems, the stars, visit us. Come to earth from the womb of a woman, just so to us to save us, just so as to deliver us from our captivity, to deliver us from our sins. Lord Jesus. We're just so grateful. So, so grateful for this wonderful, wonderful mercy. This, this kindness that you sent from heaven. You came by yourself. Only you know why you are so mindful of us, Lord. Only you know, only you, only you know why you love us so much. <laughs> because we, <laughs> your love is just, it's just, it's just incredible. <laughs> we, we, we don't even love ourselves. <laughs> Anywhere near the love that you, you you daily show, you daily show for us. And so, Father, we just want to start this morning by saying again, oh, Lord, we love you. We love you with the love that you have shared in our hearts. We love you back. We love you, oh, God. We love everything about you, Lord. We love you by your grace with all our heart. We love you with all our strength. 
We love you with all our soul, O oh God. We love you, the lover of our life, the lover of our soul, the bishop, the shepherd of our soul. We love you. We love you, Lord. And you say, he who asks, receives. What else will we ask? We're asking for you. It's you that we want, it's you that we seek. It is you, O oh God, that we desire. It is you because we have you. We have everything. <laughs> you are everything. You are every, 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 everything. So we're here again to ask again for you. And we say, Lord, we want you. Lord, they're asking for you. The confidence that he who asks receives. Thank you, Father, Lord, God Almighty. For the covenant that you have made with us, again, establishing us as indeed the apple of your eye. And whosoever we touch and pray for, you, O oh God, will heal. Heaven and earth can pass away. This word, O oh God, cannot pass away because it came from you. It came from you. And that is why even this morning, O oh God, we exercise that privilege. And we say, Father, Lord, God Almighty, Heal everybody by praying for the healing. You say, ask of me and you will give even the ends of the earth for a possession. Lord God Almighty, we're asking for people in Saudi Arabia, in India, in China, in Nepal, we're asking Father Lord for people in places where Christ is not named. We say, Lord God Almighty, let the knowledge of you cover the earth as water covers the sea. Because everybody must know you. <laughs> everybody, Lord. Everybody must know you. They must know you. Everybody must know about you. They must know you. Oh my God. Everybody must receive the grace that is in you. You have more. Your, your love can, Lord God Almighty. You're not limited in any way. You have more than enough love to cover the earth, to cover the sky, to cover everyone, everyone. Father, Lord God Almighty, we say, Lord, let there be healing. In the name of Jesus, let there be healing from the North Pole to the South Pole. Let there be healing and let it go all over the world. Let there be healing, oh God, and Father Lord God Almighty, take away this scourge of this flus, of this viruses, of this Omicron, of this Delta, of this whatever it is that they are called, SARS, Father Lord God Almighty. For we know that your eye still goes to and fro the entire earth to be strong on behalf of your people. Let there be healing, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let there be healing. Let your people be healed. 
even more important, Lord. Is the healing that comes from the knowledge of you. From the knowledge of who you are. Because if only, if only people knew you, to know you is to be healed, to know you, Lord God Almighty, is to be strengthened, to know you, oh God, is to have a reason for living. To know you, oh Lord, is to have peace and joy. To know you, oh God, is to be kind, and long-suffering, and God controlled. Let all the people of oh God know you. Let all the people of oh God know you. For you have love. That is enough for everybody. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Oh, we just, we just thank you. We just thank you. We just bless you, oh God. We just delight in you, Father Lord, God Almighty. Because you are just a wonderful, wonderful person. Uh-uh. You're a wonderful God. You're a wonderful God. You're just so wonderful. You're just so, so good. You're just so kind. You're just so, oh Lord, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We, 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 we started this the last time, Father Lord, God Almighty, that you gave me the privilege to lead this prayer. You said, Pray the commandments of Jesus. Because your word says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. And when you when you said this, I, I said, oh my God. I hope I've been keeping your commandments. <laughs> keeping your commandments and so Lord God Almighty said let's rehearse some of these commandments and I'm praying that and uh, we, 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 the last time I had this privilege you, you, we, were, we were able to pray eight eight of those commandments and let's see how far how far we go we go with some others even this morning, knowing that it is you that works in us, both to will and to do for your good pleasure. Thank you, Jesus. Now in, 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 in Matthew chapter six, Lord Jesus, you gave us a word, you, you said, take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise you have no reward from your father. You said, we should not do our charitable deeds. Lord God Almighty. That's a reason, that's a reason. That's a reason that you that you give us, why, why you give us this commandment. Because Lord, everything about us must be about you. We're not looking, we, 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 we don't want to be seen by men, to be commended by men, to be praised by men. We don't need what, what, is, the, what is the value of the praise of men. What are we going to do with it? Lord God Almighty. It's all about you. And so this morning we say, Lord God Almighty, 
it is your reward. It is the reward of the Father. And you, what is the reward? You are the reward, oh God. You are our reward. We are not heirs of the things of God. We are not heirs of the possessions of God. We are heirs of God. You, Lord, you are our reward. And so this morning, oh God, according to this commandment, we say, help us. Help us, Lord, let our eyes be single. Let us, oh God, be focused on you. And let us do everything. Let us do everything, Lord God Almighty. For you. Let us do everything for you. This evening we were, we were having a discussion and we say we should talk with you in light of the atonement that was purchased for us by our Lord Jesus. And that atonement, oh God, gives us the, the privilege to talk to you and say, let us. To say, Father, Lord God Almighty, let us do something together. And so, Lord, let every charitable deed be about us, meaning you and us, oh God, together with you. Let us know, oh God, that every, everything we do is by your leave. Everything we do is by your grace. Everything we do is by your enablement, oh Lord God, by you. And so Lord, if we help somebody, the help is from you. If we give to somebody, the gift is from you. That everything we do, oh God, redound to your glory, oh God. For all the glory, all the honor, all the praise belongs to you, our enabler. The one who performs all things for us is you. And oh Lord, may we never, ever, ever contest for that which belongs to you. May we never, never, ever encroach, Father Lord, in your glory. And so, Father Lord, God Almighty, let us look to you at all times. Let us not seek the commendation of men. Let us seek only the commendation of God. Let us seek only the reward that only you can give. Because man has nothing to give that is of any value. Nothing, nothing. There is nothing that is valuable in man. Everything that has value, everything that has substance is in the Lord, is in you, O oh God. And so, Father Lord God Almighty, help us so that we don't lose focus. For no reason, O oh God, let us not miss you. Let us indeed, as your sons, be charitable. But let us know, O oh God, 
that there is nothing that we have that we did not receive. And that we are only stewards of our so-called possessions here in this life. That our portion, oh God, is not in this world. Our portion, Lord, is in you, our Father in heaven. So we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this, for this commandment. And then you said that when we pray, we should not use vain repetitions. That we should not presume or assume that we will be, we will be, you will hear us simply because of our many words. Lord God Almighty. <laughs> you will hear us because of our many words, oh Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the school of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, our many words. We don't even have to say words. Lord God Almighty, we are the people who pray wordlessly. Sometimes, Lord, it is just our cry that you hear. Sometimes, Lord, it is just a pain that you that translates into prayer to you and you put it in your bottle. So, Lord God Almighty, help us so we are not using vain reputations. We are believers, we are not the hidden. So, we call on you, Spirit of the Living God. Teach us to pray. And to more than pray, teach us to talk to God. Teach us to walk with the Lord. Teach us to talk to our Father like a son. Quicken us, Holy Spirit so that we can always and at all times call upon your name. That all our prayers, oh God, be inspired by your Holy Spirit. That all our prayers, oh God, be according to your will. Let your will be done. Father, Lord, God Almighty, as long as it's in your, it is, it is according to your will, we know we are covered. Because you have placed us bang at the center of your will. Oh, we just rejoice in you tonight. This morning, we just rejoice in you, Lord. We just rejoice in you. I think it was David that said, what, what, what kind of God is this? He says, is this the way of a man? No, 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 no. No, David, it is the way of, of God. It is the way of the Lord. It is the way of the Lord. It is the way of the Lord. You say we should not lay our treasures on earth. For everything on earth is perishable. On earth, more and rust destroys everything. Do not thieves break in and they steal. But we have a bank in heaven. And you say we should put our treasures there because we put them there, they're impregnable. Put them there, they can never rust, they cannot be destroyed. And no thief can reach them there. But more important, even more important, Lord, oh, the God of all wisdom, the only wise God, even more important is that it protects our heart. 
protects our heart. For Lord Jesus, you say, where your treasure is, there your heart will be. And Lord, our heart should always look to heaven. Our heart, Lord, should always look to God. Because God himself, the Lord himself is our only treasure. The Lord himself is our only treasure. And so we call upon you, the desire of all nations. Let our only treasure, O oh God, be you. Let our only treasure you. Father Lord, you told us we cannot love God and Mama. We can't. We can't. We must love only you. You, oh God, must be our only treasure. And so, Lord God Almighty, according to this commandment, we ask you this morning for deliverance we ask you, O oh God, that you deliver us, deliver us, Jehovah, deliver us, mighty God, from the loss of the eyes. Deliver us, O oh God, deliver us, our deliverer. From the loss of the flesh. Deliver us, precious Jehovah. Deliver us, you who are wonderful, who are glorious, who are precious. From the pride of life. Father, there is no pride. No pride in this life. No pride. None whatsoever in this life. Nothing. And that's why, oh God, you have taught us to joy and to rejoice in you, to joy and to rejoice that our names are written in heaven. And so, Father Lord God Almighty, we ask this morning that you deliver us, deliver us from the love of vanity, from the love of useless earthly possessions. Oh Lord God Almighty, let it not be known among us, let us not love the world. Let our heart not go after the world, let us not love the things of the world before we know we know oh God that the things of the world they are not of you the things of the world are of Satan the things of the world are of men the things of the world are not of God the things of the world are not of the Father And we are only interested in, in your things, oh God. And so, Lord God Almighty, yes, we are in the world. You have said you are not going to take us from the world. But, Lord, we are not of the world. Keep us, Father Lord, from the evil that is in the world. Keep us precious love from the, from the corruption that is in the world through lust. Preserve us, Lord God Almighty.
No one, you say, can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he'll be loyal to the one and despise the other. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot serve God and mammon. We cannot, we cannot, we will not, we do not. Father, Lord, we will never serve money. No way. No way. Make us lovers of God, not lovers of money. Father, Lord, let us be lovers of God, not lovers of money. Help us, oh God, to despise the things that are highly esteemed by men. The things that are highly esteemed by men, they are rubbish. They are vanity. They are worthless. Father, Lord God Almighty, help us to only approve the things that are excellent. And all the excellent things can only be found in you, O oh God. In you. Let us not be carried away by things of men. Let us not be like the Chaldeans who rejoice in their ships. Father Lord, help us to esteem only the things that are of God only the things that are of you, only the things that are excellent, the things that are good, the things that are pure, the things that are true, the things that are just, the things that are of good report. Lord God Almighty, let us esteem the spiritual above the physical, oh God. Father, Lord God Almighty, Enable us to be rich in you, to be rich towards God. Let us delight, precious Lord, in the beauty of your holiness. Let us rejoice only in the Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Um, Mr. O.B., are you here? Yes, sir. Please pray for us. Our Father, our Father, we thank you because you have made it possible for us to locate that one that is important. And that is you. We thank you, O God of glory, because he pleased you to choose us, to search you and find you. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Father, King or King ancient of days, the world has filled itself with distractions. But Father, you have made it possible that we can search through the chaff and discover what needs to be, and that is you. Yes. Father, we're only asking that that grip, oh God, 
with which you have gripped us, that we will not lose it. Amen. That we will not slip out of your hands. Amen. Father, also knowing our own infirmities, we are only asking you, O oh God of glory, as much as we will want to slip away, Father, don't leave us. Amen. We recognize that you are the all-powerful God. We recognize that the heaven and earth belongs to you. Yes. We recognize, O oh King of glory, that without you we are nothing. Absolutely. And Father, O oh God of glory, tonight, we are still calling you Father. Yes. And asking you, hold us to yourself. Amen. Hold us to yourself. Amen. Let our wake up moments be a time with you. Yes, Lord. Let it be also that while we're sleeping, it's only you, oh God, that will be in our visions and dreams. Yes, Lord. Yes. Mighty upon God. We know that so many do not know you. We know that so many are not seeking you. Hmm. We know that their desires are of the evil world. But Father, we were like that. We are still calling you, O oh God of mercy. Remember our brothers. Amen. Remember our sisters. Amen. Remember our friends. Amen. Remember our relations. Amen. Remember those children, those husbands, those wives that are yet to know you. Yes, Lord. Father, it is still our hard desire that all men should come to you. Yes. Father, we know you are large enough to accommodate every one of us. And Father, we are asking you, oh God, by a great power still, that veil that cover their eyes, that covering that the prince of this world put on them, Father, lift up those veils. Amen. That they will see you. Yes, Lord. That they will come to know that that great work on the cross is what your son did for everybody. Amen. The Bible records that in Christ all died. That means everybody. But those who believe are those who resurrected with him. Father, locate this our bread. Locate this our brothers, sisters, relatives, friends, and all that don't know you. Let them come to your God of Lord. Yes. Mighty awesome God. You are a word, a fountain nobody can finish. Your spirit in us, oh God. You call it rivers or living water. Mm -hmm. Is a power, oh God, that we also can't even phantom the depth and the height. Mm. But it's a power in us that work in wonders. Father, this power, let it come to the reality of every one of us tonight. Amen. That your power, oh God, is limitless. Yes. We should not be counted among those who cite the scriptures and do not know the power of God. Mm. Father, bring every one of us here to suck into your power. Amen. So that, oh God, as you could walk on water, there are times we need to walk on that water. Yes, By our yes, own power. Lord. yes, yes, Lord. A mighty awesome God. As you multiply bread to reach everybody. Also, God, there are times we need to multiply bread in your own power. Yes. Mighty awesome God. Nigeria. We are a people that look for signs and wonders. And your word has declared that the children of God are for signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you 
that we in healing wings are for signs and wonders. Amen. Because we belong to you. Yes. They say the son of a lion is a lion. A lion. We are children of the living God. Yes. Power dwells in our bosom. Yes. And Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That this year, we will manifest power in our ambitions. Amen. But I will be humble enough to give you the glory. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Omeko. Good morning. Good morning, church. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please, you help us uh, complete tonight's prayer meeting. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Father, we thank you because you are faithful. We thank you for how far you've helped us. We thank you, God, for your deliverance. We thank you, God, for your mercy. Mm -hmm. That you have shown us even this morning. We thank you for opening our ears. We thank you, God, for opening our eyes. We thank you, God, for your healing power that you've made present, Jehovah Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Into wine. We thank you. We thank you, God, for again for the giving for your provision, Jehovah Lord, for loving us so much and being with us. Thank you for revealing your servants again to us. Thank you, God, for putting a smile on our faces. Even this morning, this new day you have made. My Father, we thank you for the gift to rejoice and be glad in it. My Father, we thank you, God, for the privilege to eat out of that which you've set before this table that is before us. Even this morning, once again, we want to thank you for our nation, Nigeria. Father, we can never thank you enough for all the deliverances, for all the protection, oh God, for all the mercy you've shown us, for all the doors you open, for all the doors you shut that are meant to harm us. You shut them in your wisdom, you shut them in your love. I want to thank you again and again because we can't thank you enough. We say, Father, this morning be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we want to thank you, oh God, even for the church. We want to thank you for how much, oh God, you've been with us. For so much of your love, for so much of your revelation, we want to thank you for your power. We want to thank you for your deliverance power, for your healing power, for your power that is ever present. We say, Father, we take nothing for granted. Even this morning, we want to say, Jehovah, we are grateful. We are grateful for what you've done, oh God. We thank you for ability to hear you, oh God. We thank you for ability to be doers of your word. We thank you for the gift to be sons of you, sons of the Most High. Father, we bless your name for who you are. We say, be thou exalted in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, thank you. All we've come to say. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Say to the righteous, you are indeed the apple of God's eye. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Good night, all. Good night.